That said, inflation remains high and policy is going to need to remain sufficiently restrictive for some time to make sure it gets down to 2% on a sustained basis. President Biden looking to add the Fed's vice chair to his team. Bloomberg reporting Leo Brainerd is a top contender to become the new head of the National Economic Council. On top of that story, Bloomberg's Anne-Marie down in D.C. AMH, walk us through what you've learned this morning. Well, John, what we know now is that she is not just in the running, but a top contender, as you mentioned, to take on the job of the director of the National Economic Council. We should note no decisions have been made, and there are other names that have been thrown around, like Gene Sperling, like Wally Adiemo. But right now, what you potentially could see in the coming weeks is that the Fed's number two becomes the number one economic voice in the West Wing. Um, this is on top of a little bit of a shakeup at the White House, which is pretty much natural um, when you have, after a midterm election and, and two years of an administration, we do know that Ron Klain will also be exiting, and as well as Brian Deese. And that's why Leo Brainerd's name is getting a lot of attention this morning. But Jonathan, no one is walking out the door before the State of the Union on February 7th. Thank <laughs> you.